Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. So, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix if you can't add card to Apple Pay on iPhone and iPad. So, guys, Apple Pay allow you to add card and make payment through your iPhone and iPad. It also enable NFC payments using the process of paying bills in the store by tapping your device at the machine. Besides, this looks cool. However, you must first add the card to make Apple Pay payments through app. And if you have been lately facing issue with adding apple card on your iphone in ios 15 or 16 i'm going to show you guys how you can fix this so there is 11 way to fix your problem so let's get start the video without wasting any time so before we start the video guys hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos so the first step is guys make sure that you have an internet connection strong internet connection like wi-fi or mobile data make sure that your internet connection is working so you can connect your wi-fi network or mobile data and the next step is guys check the apple pay status so for that go to google and you can search check apple pay status so you can search this on google and then open this system status spot now once it's open just click on it here and scroll down and see that if your apple pay is available or not so as you can see guys here is the apple pay is available as you can see so now the next step is contact your bank so in case if your bank not support apple pay card so make sure that you contact bank your first then the next step is go to your iphone setting click on general click on software update and make sure that you are using software update so if you are not then simply click on download and install and make sure that you are on the latest version and the next step is delete the extra card from wallet app so guys if you have added any extra card make sure that you delete that card apple id and device region so for the device region go to setting click on general click on language and region and make sure that you have selected the country where are you living and then for the apple id you can go to the app store And click on user icon here and click on your apple id username and make sure that you change the region to united states same as the language region so you can change it from the apple id going to the app store click on country and region so if you want to change your region you can change it from here so as you can see change country or region now you can select united states so I have already selected it now I'm not going to select again then make sure that you don't have any VPN connected so you can delete the VPN by going to setting general and go to the VPN and device management make sure that you don't have any VPN on your device so after that guys you can re-enable your password so go to the face ID and passcode so enter your passcode here and then just reset face ID and change the password so make sure that you change the password once so after this guys restart your iphone device so you can press the power button and up volume up button also you can go to general and click on shut down and shut down your device once and restart it again so make sure that you restart your device it might fix your problem then guys then the next step is you can factory default reset the factory setting for that go to the setting click on general scroll down click on transfer and reset and click on reset all setting so you won't lose any of your data enter the simply passcode and reset your iphone so it can fix your problem also and the next step is guys if you uh, gone through all these steps and none of these method works you can contact apple support by going to apple website and then simply contact apple support so as you can see here so hope you guys like this video hope this helps you guys so see you in the next video thanks for watching